Hey guys and welcome. You have no idea how much I waited for this gun. It's WE MP7. Ти май не го познаваш, аз мисля да те запозная с него. Но да, да, просто... беше също играеш са. И то отскоро. А, отскоро. Отскоро, да. А, и просто трябваше аз да му взема, защото той не е в града в момента. А, не е в града. Да. Не, не е моя. Не, не е моя. Да, ли, тя за какво ти е? Да, аз имам, не ми и трябва друга. Да. Да, не ми трябва друга, да. Ми да. Браво, Шош. Okay, so I came to the field where I usually play. It's called Airsoft Sofia Field and I really recommend it. And I want to thank you guys for letting me do the review here at your place. So let's get straight to it. We have really nice black box on Chinese or whatever that language is. I believe it's MP7, but who knows? Maybe if some Chinese are watching this, please let me know. Let's see what do we have inside the box now. We have full metal magazine, uh, pretty heavy, I can say. We have two rails. This is definitely not metal, uh, some kind of polymer and it has to be installed here. What else? We have a uh, Allen key with few bolts. These are the other sides. Few, uh, this is full metal. I really prefer it. This is the standard MP7 thread adapter. And this is the thread for all kind of silencers. And let's go to the good part. We have the replica. Uh, it's a mix of polymer and metal. Here we have the, the stock. We have the, the bolt. Here is the hand grip. Okay, let's keep to the shooting range now. We're on the testing field and we have a human-sized body target about around uh, 20 meters away. I'm gonna shoot with uh, 0.30 BBs inside the mag. So let's see how it performs. I'm gonna switch on my scope cam as well. Nice. Nice, so we had no issues hitting the target in 20 meters, let's move to 30. Okay, so we move to the 30 meters, we're gonna do absolutely the same thing. We will try to hit the human sized body target as much as possible. Let's go. Ooh, the wind is strong. Oh, okay, seems like we went out of gas, we we'll return and continue with the shot. Okay, we move to the 40 meters from the target. Let's see with that hop-up adjustment if we can do it. We'll switch on the cam again. Okay, it would be nice to cock it. Okay, we're back in the game. No, we're not. Hmm, that's kind of strange. That's a hit. That's a hit. That's a hit. 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 
that was a miss okay that was quite interesting I have no idea what why it jumped there's still BB inside but hmm. okay I was surprised if you guys know what happened please let me know uh, let me know in the comments down below and let's keep to the next part I'm really interested to see how this replica performs shooting on full auto so let's check it out okay the kick is really nice guys I, I really like the kick seems like I couldn't finish the Mac because of the gas uh, I filled it uh, before the before the test I, I don't know why why I couldn't use the gas to shoot up the whole the whole magazine inside but it is what it is My personal conclusion is that despite the fact this is a budget gun, there were some jams for no reason and the adjustment of the hop-up is really painful. Sometimes the gas didn't endure even one Mac. However, the replica is really ergonomical and with some upgrades it could be really angry gun. If you guys enjoyed the video, please consider liking it. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.